Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Tom Gunn, and I'm the principal of uh, the Street Area Campus, which is home to the NSCC Nautical Institute. I would like to welcome and sincerely thank our MLA and the Minister of Economic and Rural Development and Tourism, as well as some other titles, which I'm not quite sure of, uh, the Honourable Michelle Sampson for coming today to announce the arrival of training equipment that is new to Canada. It's now my pleasure to invite Minister Sampson to help launch this new equipment on behalf of the Minister of Labour and Advanced Education. Uh, this is an exciting day for Nova Scotia Community College's Nautical Institute, for its current and future students, for the people of the Strait Area, and for the province of Nova Scotia as a whole. The piece of equipment we're launching today, and I mean literally launching, <laughs> will provide students out of NSCC's marine programs with a huge competitive advantage. Thanks to an investment from the Department of Labor and Advanced Education, Nova Scotia Community College has purchased a state-of-the-art freefall lifeboat. And I certainly want to take this opportunity to recognize the former government. Uh, my understanding is that uh, former Premier Dexter had made the announcement of this funding here in the Strait area yes. uh, prior to the election and certainly want to recognize that as a very wise uh, investment that we're uh, happy to see come to fruition. This high-tech emergency craft is used on cargo ships and offshore platforms around the world. And now students here at the Nautical Institute will join an elite group trained on how to use them. Because the Strait Area Campuses Nautical Institute will be the only school in Canada equipped to deliver training with this equipment. And why not here? One should never underestimate the type of training that can happen in small communities or even in a small province. In fact, there's nowhere else in the world better prepared to capitalize on the growth in marine training and oceans technology than Nova Scotia. Because we have a natural advantage. We have 7,500 kilometers of diverse coastline. We have the Bay of Fundy, which has the highest tides in the world. We have deep inland waters of the Bador. We have warm waters of the Gulf of St. Lawrence. We have a multitude of coves and inlets and the open waters of the Atlantic. Simulators and training aids, like the ones we're about to launch, help ensure students learn the skills that employers are looking for. Thanks to these equipment, these students will have the emergency training that they need to work on any kind of ship, and that translates into more opportunities. As growth with the marine and oceans tech industry continues, we will be ready. We will continue to work with businesses and our academic institutions like Nova Scotia Community College, to harness this growth and ensure that our students, our future experts and innovators, will be trained and well positioned to take advantage of opportunities. I would like to thank the Nova Scotia Community College for your leadership in advancing the ocean technology industry and in helping our students prepare for in-demand jobs across the province. <laughs> 